how to use the chat app. Before you get on board, you want to download the Carnival Hub app. And when you get on board, you log in. You used to log in with your folio number, but now you can log in with the same credentials you use for their website and just let them know when you're on board, basically. And then if you click on people uh, and click on somebody, or you can go to the chat function, there's a couple of different ways in it that you can get to that chat screen and there will be the pop-up that says oh activate the chat plan for five dollars you have to agree to the terms and conditions and click accept and so when you do that it will charge your sale and sign account five dollars if you have obc it will obviously deduct against the obc particularly if it's the first thing you do and if you haven't spent all your obc yet I mean, it's just that easy and so then whenever you can go into the chat or you can go through the people function and the people function gives you a list of everybody on the ship you can search find somebody and as long as they also have the chat plan you can message each other you can't send pictures to each other you can't send files there's some limited emojis so it has some limits but it's still pretty good so let's talk now that i've explained to you how you can get that working on your android or ios device it's flaws it's it's not perfect the messages don't always deliver instantly however i'm not entirely certain that that's the flaw of the app one thing I've noticed with my phone is that every now and then it might actually disconnect me from the Wi-Fi. And it doesn't do a great job of letting me know about that. And so it could be that maybe I've disconnected and so that's why I haven't gotten the most recent message or my message didn't send. But sometimes there can be a delay. And sometimes the delay can be substantial. And the app has gone through different iterations. Your experience is likely to vary on different ships, and especially over time, and potentially different devices. But one thing that I've taken to doing with some of my traveling companions in the chat function of the Hub app is we would put our own timestamps on it if it was something that was time sensitive in a sense. So like, let's say that we're going to go to the hot tub, but maybe we're only going to go to the hot tub for like half an hour. And so we could say like, hey, we're headed to the hot tub. And then I might just in parentheses put like 1.30 p.m. And that's how you can get around that delay function. I mean, it doesn't mean that the message gets delivered faster or read faster, but at least when people see it, they'll have a slightly more accurate conception of when the message was sent. And of course, as with everything, stay on ship's time all the time. And sometimes if you've got a group chat and like somebody might log out or re refresh the app, clear their cache, um, getting like going back to that chat can sometimes be problematic. So you might have to create a new group chat to make that work. So it has some flaws. The messages can be delayed. The timestamps might not be reliable. Uh, and sometimes group chats can get a little hinky, might drop someone from the group chat and re-adding them might not work. Those I think are relatively minor issues. I do hope that they correct them and address them with subsequent updates and improvements to their network. Network.